Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be reviewing the Fenty Beauty Translucent Powder versus the Sasha Buttercup Translucent Powder. Usually I'll use Fenty Beauty, but I've been wanting to get my hands on the Sasha Buttercup Translucent Powder for a while now. So I'm going to be comparing the two. The Fenty Beauty is a bit of a darker shade, whereas the Sasha Buttercup is a lighter shade. So we're going to see how well both of these blend into black skin. All right, so first we are going to be applying the Fenty Beauty setting powder in the shade Hazelnut to the right side of my face. The Fenty Beauty powder is extremely soft. It pats right onto the skin. It's extremely matte. So if you do have oily skin, um, you might want to try the Fenty Beauty setting powder because it really makes sure that you're not sweating at all. No shine, no oil. It absorbs everything. Also, another thing is that if you let it bake for too long, it can get stuck stuck in place and it's hard to blend it out into your makeup so although it does mattify your face and it's for um, oily skin it can be hard to blend out because it is so matte and it does stick in place where you apply it the sasha buttercup is very gentle as well super soft setting powder this i find it does blend out easier than the fenty beauty powder um, although it's a lighter shade, it blended right into my melanin with ease. The Sasha Buttercup does give more of a velvety look to your makeup rather than a matte look. Um, I'm not sure if there's a big difference, but to me there is. It's not as mattifying as the Fenty Beauty. Both translucent powders get the job done for sure, but I think the biggest difference is the length of wear. So if you are going for a long wear all day makeup, I would suggest the Fenty Beauty. Whereas if you're going out for a night out, girls night, date night, only just for a few hours, I would do the Sasha Buttercup. All right? I hope this review helped so that you could see the results on melanated skin. Both setting powders melted right into my skin and would be a great addition to your makeup and beauty routines. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any other review recommendations, drop them in the comments. Thank you guys for tuning into this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!